How can I increase my awareness of the universal God force to enable me to become more of a blessing to my associates in that attuning of body, mind and soul to those onenesses of purpose as they each give expression of those influences manifested in the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. The Godhead is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, just as in thyself, as the pattern, the body, the mind, the soul. They are one, just as the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are one. They each functioning in coordination or cooperation as one with another become as thy own experiences in a material world, the awareness of the consciousness of that God force, that spirit abiding within. For the entity must, as must each entity, give an account for the deeds done in the body. To whom must it give account? To the God force within self. And think, when it is hate and malice, jealousy and selfishness, what a poor, miserable soul has to bring as a body before the Lord, its King. Know thyself and thy relationships to the creative forces that may bring into the hearts and minds and souls of others the consciousness of the God force, the creative force being existent and willing to manifest in and through the individual application. Know that each soul enters those environs where the application of the spiritual import of spiritual influences into material affairs may the better enable that soul entity to accomplish its best towards manifesting the God force or influence in the experience. Know that the full strength lies within thee and thy relationship to the God force manifested in the earth. Keep the ways open ever. Know in what ye believe, and most of all, in whom ye believe, who is the author of thy faith. In the soul or psychic experience, one attunes the God self to the universal, hence the application or experience is from within and in communion with the influence of God force in the individual life. Remember, man, the soul of man, the body of man, the mind of man, is nearer to limitlessness than anything in creation. Hence those who consider the manner of being channels through which souls may enter are taking hold upon God force itself, and it is not the same as an animal, insect, or any of the rest of creation, which is limited always. Remember, there is no shortcut in becoming conscious of the God force, which is a part of thine consciousness. Too oft is the tendency to use or apply same in the manner to obtain immediate results in the physical self without its application of a spiritual truth through the mental process to produce the fruits of the spirit in thy own physical consciousness. Study to show thyself approved unto the author of ideals, not ideas, ideals. Ideas are man-made, ideals are of the God force and are divine. Whatever electricity is to man, that's what the power of God is. Man may in the material world use God force, God power or electricity to do man's work or to destroy man himself. He did it before. Will you do it again? The entity was among the sons of the law of one, using those energies in the periods in Atlantis that destroyed Atlantis, that destroyed mankind. Sow the seed of truth, as ye are directed by the God force within. Then have the patience to leave the increase to the giver of all good and perfect gifts. For there is the continual warring within the individual in every activity as to that it should have done and that it has done about creative energies 
or the God Force in its experience. Psychic is not other than of the soul, not so much spiritism, but spirit as spirituality or spirit activity, God Force of the soul, active in the individual or person, hence those that hold fast to that. Being His, the God Force in activity, is just being kind, sincere, honest, first with thy friend and then to thyself. All force, all power that is manifested in the earth emanates from a spiritual or God force as it manifests. Keep the faith in self and self's abilities as may be correlated with the God force or creative force in self. Keep that attitude that the applications are creating the field of activity in which the God force or life itself may manifest in this body that it may complete in this experience that development necessary for the maintaining of the soul's attitude and soul's relationships with its Creator and Saviour. If God is impersonal force or energy, He is impersonal, but so very personal. It is not that ye deal only with impersonal, it is within and without. It is in and without and only as God quickeneth the spirit within, by the use, by the application of the God-force within, to meet it out to others.